It's been a brilliant year for the young lefty. 16 up, three down, and a 2.55 earned run average. The horn, it's Bellinger, Horner, Swanson, and Madrigal. Jan Gomes uh, behind the plate. And he'd steal. First pitch fouled away, and away we go. Justin Steele. All that off something, and down he went. Uh, uh, comes the old one. Line to left base hit. Marte, certainly healthy enough. Lawler playing in his third big league game. He was playing high school ball. Diamondbacks have come out aggressive. Swinging. The Cubs as a team are 10 above. And when you think about those numbers, the way the Cubs have done it, especially the young pitchers stepping in, it's been nice. Fam takes low one and two. Run every game, JD. Like All American dude hit 363. Punch out four times. At 2 2, lifted to right, playable for Suzuki. Routine. Play. Speaking of that, the runner goes, throw to second, tag, not in time. Stolen by RBI man with 91 takes outside. And what he's not going to throw him a cookie. Now it's one and two. What's on your mind here? Yeah, just you know, just inside. A little cut on that pitch. Put out innings in that game. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Walker out on strikes. See if Talkman can start a rally as he takes outside. Let's take a look at Merrill Kelly. It's brought to you by Budweiser. It's a, it's a diverse mix. It's a good number of cutters. He's got a curveball. Kelly. Two and one now to Talkman. Kind of a late bloom pick. Bounced around in their organization for a while and then decided the three one. Foul back. Well, it's interesting because the guy at the plate, he goes over. Lewis that night. This one's outside. Good quality plate appearance for Tuckman. No juniors in left. Corbin Carroll has been in right to get center today. Tommy Pham. Nico will take a strike. At least the only Cub in the lineup with. It also keeps it simple then for you because you're just thinking, here's what he has, here's what I have to do, and you're not. You're just. Game. He strikes out on a sharp breaking ball. It's out number one. And then left the game with a cramping JD in his right. Here comes the 0 1. Half pops it up. Foul and back out of play. Not too many empty seats. Close play. Topman diving back in. Leaning a little bit. Moreno, the uh, Diamondback catcher, has the highest caught stealing rate in. Hate the second baseman dancing underneath it makes the catch. Back goes Carroll near the track and Carroll makes the catch. Guriel Jr. leads it off, fouls it away. Second inning underway. I talk size of the plate covered like that. Getting to the inside pitch so. I wanted to make sure they did some work away and found success with it. And the one two. His last 13 start five days ago. In caliber. Now it's two and two. Hands and the slider will dip down. Jammed him, bounced to short footwork by Dansby Swanson. In the plate, and notice how he kind of jumps out and he's really giving Steele that target to make sure, like, if you're going to go away, I want you to miss away. If you're going to. Evan Longoria batting for the first time in this series. The veteran takes a strike. Do you like him? Sort of. That's going to be in for a base hit, a one out single for Longoria. But settled into the glove. Fastball up and in, 1 and 0. MVP votes as well. You look at him, 150 pitchers you're talking about, and he's got the best ERA. Rather elite. Diamondbacks led them all the way to the 
world title in 2001 in a classic seven game series against the foul down the right field line. I can still see the former Cub Louis Gonzalez. A lot of movement on that pitch. Nothing in two. Nine inch vertical, six inch cut. So not all fastball is made the same with Justin Steele. So imagine that's what I'm talking about. Gomes behind the his wrist. Fam hits a fly ball to shallow right. Should be playable for Seiya Suzuki on it. Today. They have been scratching for offense. They scored a grand total of two runs. The opener of the series, it was uh, rookie Ryan Nelson. who didn't get their first hit in that game until the fifth inning. Dockman rolls one out to Marte, and that's going to be out. At least you were an All American third baseman at court. Half looking at ball one. Corner 36 stun. All depends on the numbers they get. And Kelly's times to the plate. Mike Napoli will be timing his do not run. Hap chasing a low change. The count now two and two. Big lead and a big jump, and Hap fouls it away. Nothing Hap could do with two strikes on him. He had to protect him. Hap is out on strikes. Oh, he pops it up. Shallow center, the shortstop Lawler or the second baseman. Swanson down low. Bellinger can run. He might be stealing a bag right here. Why not? Look at that jump by Bellinger. And he'll get a stolen base. Just foul. No swing ruled by the crew chief Mark. Real good depth to it. Another one. Change the shape of it a little bit from time to time. You know, throw a little. He does that. I like the 3 1 off speed pitch that he dropped in for a lot of effort. It's a base hit for Goriel. He got jammed. Different this season. Yeah, well, I think the science of it all has gotten so. To Hopper to Madrigal, they get one and they get two. Yeah. Anticipate Suzuki. Sharply hit, but right to the rookie Lawler, and that's out number one. I love to play. Mentioned yesterday on Cubs Radio, the Cubs have had some down the line and right, curling and going foul. Notice the Diamondbacks in this series with their infield positioning. Jan Gomes will look at a ball a little bit outside. Off his own foot, foul immediately. The runner goes. Gomes protecting, fouls it back. Pretty good fastball by Kelly on that one. 